Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ari Altman. I'm the founder of the Tech Buyers Guru, also known as TBG. Uh, the site's been up on the net for four years, over four years in fact, and over that time, during that time, a lot of readers have come to me and said, I'd like to see some videos, I'd like to get some how-to guides uh, that are more than just pictures. And, and I decided, well, it's maybe high time that I oblige them. So this is going to be the very first YouTube video I've produced and I've, I've uploaded. Uh, hopefully one of many to come. And the site's still going strong. You're still going to see a lot of articles on techbuyersguru.com. Uh, the YouTube videos that I'll be doing will mostly focus on products that really benefit from having the video presentation. And so today's product is actually kind of going to be kind of a teaser. I'm not going to do a full how-to yet. This is a brand new product, the EVGA GeForce Hybrid Cooler, specifically for the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, or 1080 Ti as I like to say. Um, the 1080 Ti is a great, very powerful card. I recently published a review of this card on the website. But one thing I found is that it runs pretty hot. And in recent testing for a, an upcoming article, I uh, picked up a second 1080 Ti to run an SLI. I like to do 4K benchmarks with just about S every SLI uh, setup you can find. Uh, readers of the site will know that I've done uh, SLI benchmarks of 780 Ti, uh, 980 Ti, the 1070, the 1080, and now I'm going to be doing 1080 Ti. The only problem with this setup is it runs really hot, and that top card in your SLI Duo will be pegged at 84 degrees Celsius the entire time. It's hitting that thermal threshold, it's going to be throttling, and I just wanted to unleash that top card a little bit more. I wanted to get the best performance I could out of that SLI Duo. Um, and I, I should mention, very important, that this is not the same hybrid cooler as you would use for the 1080. Okay, this is a GTX 1080 uh, box, uh, 1080 Ti. These cards will look the same, but they don't use the same cooler. This is 5388-B1. That is the that's what the part number is. Specifically, I shall write. I'll read it. 400-HY-5388-B1. The 5188 cooler is for the 1080. The reason that you should pay attention is that they don't work, they're not the same card, uh, and they're not the same cooler. And one way you'll know you're getting the right cooler is, first of all, it's completely sold out right now. If you're buying it today, you're probably not getting the right one because it's sold out on EVGA. It's sold out even at a B&H photo video, which is the only place that's had it since it's released in April. This is where I got this. I will provide a link below. Please do use that link if you'd like to support the site. The <clears throat> cooler costs $160. The cooler for the 1080 is 120 So if you're paying $120, you're getting the wrong cooler. I'm sorry to say. And a lot of people were up in arms when this was released at $160 and said, EVJ, what are you doing? This can't be that different from your $120 cooler for the 1080. Well, it, what EVGA said about that was, this is a low volume part. There aren't as many 1080 ties out there as there are 1070s and 1080s combined. That's what could use the previous hybrid cooler. Uh, and, and, you know, to, for EVGA to get, uh, to, to earn back its R&D budget, uh, needed to raise the price. So, take that uh, as you will. Is it a cop-out? Is it an excuse? pocketing more money or is it just uh, reality in the business of providing service to consumers? Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to judge it. I'm just going to say I've got the product right here and I'm going to do a little unboxing of it. Uh, one last thing I'm going to say is I recently did a shootout of the 1080 actually using a high, uh, the, this this cooler and then an open air cooler. Open air coolers work really well, but even uh, open air coolers will have trouble with a 1080 Ti and especially keeping it under 70 degrees Celsius. That would be ideal. You get the least throttling uh, when you're below 70 degrees Celsius. And there are very few air-based cards, uh, air-based coolers that can do that and particularly in SLI. Okay, SLI is different. Running two cards is different. I don't think you need this if you're running a single card. I will pr publish benchmarks on a single card using this cooler. That's really not the target audience, I would say. So, let's break this open, okay? Um, the shrink wrap is still here. Uh, so, let's let's take a look at what's inside. Uh, hopefully, I can open the shrink wrap. Yep, here we go. So, this is, this is the brand new EVGA hybrid cooler for the 1080 Ti and 
Titan X Pascal. Both these cards are running really hot, um, and that's because in the Pascal generation of cards, NVIDIA really pushed its GPUs hard. Uh, these are these the GPUs can run at above 2,000 megahertz, and uh, they're pushing lots of current through. They're pushing lots of pixels, and what that means is uh, they generate a lot of heat. So this is a brand new cooler for a high-powered car. Um, I'm going to put this plastic on the ground, never mind that. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside this box. Uh, I do not know what we will find. I have not opened this box. In fact, I'm not sure I know how to open the box. Okay, here we go. You know, interestingly, uh, EVGA went really uh, subdued with the packaging here. And in part, I'm just going to take a guess that this is not going to show up on brick and mortar store shelves. I, I hate to say it, but EVGA probably knew that this is only going to be a very limited run, only mail order, and seeing it on the shelf was not going to catch people's eye or um, pull, have them pull out their wallets. This is really, you can tell from this box, it is designed for a, a virtual storefront for online sales. Okay, I've got a seal on here, the EVGA seal. I'm going to pull this off uh, and, and pop this box open. All right, so let's get this out of the way. GeForce GTX Hybrid, and interestingly, again, no indication at all on this box that this is what card this is for. That's why I'm really specifying, I'm being careful here, guys, this is the 5388-B1. Only by looking at the part number do you know, of course, you can't see that on camera, but I can. Uh, there's no branding on here telling you that it is for this card, but I, I do know that this one is, is the correct one. So, let's open up this box. All right. What do we got here? This, I'm going to assume, is the shroud. I'll, I'll, I'll put it aside for a second. I think that's going to replace what you see on the outside. Now, this is really funny. <laughs> I saw this online, and I actually called the EVDA about it. This manual is for a different cooler, okay? This manual is for the Titan X 1080 and 1070 cooler. By the way, that's a Titan X uh, Max, Maxwell version, I believe. It's not the current Titan X Pascal. Point being, this is this manual hasn't even been updated. I guess EVGA is really uh, pinching pennies here because there's nothing in here that says 1080 Ti. And that is a little bit troublesome. I hope the manual is correct. I see that this uh, works for the 1070, 1080, and Titan X. Um, uh, which was an NVIDIA only card, by the way. EVGA did not sell the Titan X. Uh, so we're going to see what happens, okay? This manual does not say anything about this product, and nowhere on here uh, does it say that this is the 5388-B1 cooler. So we will find out when we go to install whether or not these instructions are correct. Uh, moving on, uh, we have a, a, an important notice. Uh, EVGA recommends that the radiator be installed above the graphics card with the tubing at the bottom. Uh, so uh, this is something I, I've actually mentioned on the site in, 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 in uh, reviews. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but what they don't want you to do is mount the radiator and fan, say, at the bottom of the case. That's often an area where someone has, a PC user will have an open vent, and they'll be tempted to put that radiator below. The problem is the... Um, uh, pumping that uh, the cooling coolant through the tubes, that's going to be harder. It's going to be working against gravity. Uh, you don't want to mount it that way. You want to mount your your uh, radiator above your card. So let me get rid of some more packaging there. Okay. What else do we have in here? We have some parts. Lots and lots of screws. This is a pretty. This is going to be. Uh, I have not obviously not done this operation yet. This is going to be a fairly involved process. This is not just like installing a video card or even you know, installing a motherboard or CPU. Uh, I, I, I glanced briefly at the online manual, which again was not the correct manual for this cooler, but hopefully it'll work. Um, there's a lot of steps involved. There's a lot of screws in this bag. Uh, actually, a number of bags in here. So each of the screws are individually packaged. So hopefully that'll help sort through with what's what. Okay, finally, we get to the cooler itself. We have the radiator and fan combo, and then the cooling block. All right, so uh, what I can tell here is that we've got a, uh, well, 
know, this is a three pin, a three pin fan uh, connection, connector. Although what EBGA, EBGA has done here is this, is this only has two pins because it does not want the motherboard to control your airflow for you. Uh, the card is gonna do it itself. So this is just to provide power. And this, I'm assuming, is going to plug into the fan receptacle on the, on the video card itself that powers the fan that's in, you know, inside the card. Uh, the stock fan obviously requires power, and this uh, uses that same uh, connector. It will plug right into the card. And I believe there's a fan. Let's, now let's open this shroud and see what, what this looks like. Again, I, I have not opened this. I don't know what's going to be in here. I don't know exactly what this looks like. So it's in static proof bag and nicely wrapped. So that, that's kind of cool. Uh, electrostatic sensitive area. Do not enter without proper electrostatic safety equipment. Do not enter. Okay, well, I'm going to enter this bag here. I'm going to take this off. That's good. Okay, here's your shroud. It's got a couple of pieces here. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. Uh, this is actually, so we got two pieces here. This is the external shroud that's just cosmetic, essentially. That replaces what you see on the outside. Uh, this replaces what's inside, uh, other than what's directly on the GPU itself. This cools the VRMs, the memory chips, and it, it has a blower style cooler, much like what the GTX Ti uh, comes with. Uh, but this is a replacement. And so I'm pretty sure, yes, this fan has its own internal fan um, plug here. And so this is going to kind of couple up with the fan header that uh, the pump uses. And so both of these are going to be controlled and getting, getting power from the GPU. Uh, the fan header for the motherboard is just to provide extra power because obviously a radiator and pump uh, require more power than just a simple fan here. So, there we have it. That's your unboxing. Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about this brand new product. Again, I just checked uh, a few minutes ago and found you can't buy these currently. They're completely sold out. Uh, but it's a pretty nice uh, piece of equipment. Uh, and I should mention one thing. One of the dead giveaways that makes this different than the 1080 hybrid cooler is that it's designed for the dual power input plugs, PCI plugs of the 1080 tie. The 1080 only has one of those plugs. It has a single 8-pin connector. Uh, so you couldn't even install the 1080 hybrid cooler on here. Uh, it would not fit because it doesn't have the cutouts for the power plugs. So this, guys, this is the right cooler. This will fit on this car. And we're going to be uh, doing a, a how-to video, hopefully, showing you how this installs. And you'll learn more about this product sometime soon. So. If you like this video, please do click like. That helps me know whether or not I'm reaching an audience uh, that wants to hear more about these kind of products. And stay tuned uh, until next time when hopefully you're going to get to see uh, me install this cooler on this card and learn more about how it performs. All right, see you next time.